Well, thieves often turn to copper to make a quick buck. They target homes, businesses, even power and phone lines. But in this case, they went above and beyond to get their hands on that metal. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart is live in Roswell with the story. Kim, the thieves targeted a home that was recently remodeled and ready to be leased out. It's now going to take even more work to repair all the damage the crooks left behind. A small hole under the stairs, but thousands of dollars worth of damage. Copper thieves crawled under the house, smashed through the drywall, and popped out under the stairs. They took everything they could, ripping out the bathroom sink, tearing out the kitchen faucets, even ripping through the walls to get copper. You know, certain things are always made out of copper. And, uh, again, from what I've seen, uh, you know, these guys are pretty desperate to get copper. The landlord says he just remodeled, and now he has even more work to do on his rental. He didn't want to go on camera in fear of retaliation. And with crimes like this one, police are looking beyond the neighborhood for leads. When they steal this copper, they're forced to take it somewhere. Um, and the recycling places are very, very good about calling us when something doesn't seem right. And, and we have caught several people uh, in the act of trying to sell stolen copper. The landlord of this home is a disabled veteran. He says this isn't the first time this has happened. It's just never been this bad. And every hole in the wall cuts another hole in his family's pocket. Police say they don't have any leads in this case yet, but they're hopeful the place these criminals are going will let them know. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabrielle. Now, according to recycling facilities, someone can make up to $25 a pound for copper.